What's up you big ballers riding on 20s? Today we're going to learn how to create a Chrome text effect in Adobe Illustrator. So opening up Illustrator, I'm going to create a new file. I'm just going to name this Chrome. The width and the height are 1500, but you can kind of play with what you want. Uh, for the color mode, I'm going to have RGB since uh, RGB is a light based color mode, whereas CMYK is a print based color mode. RGB is going to help since we're creating some reflective and metallic like light effects. So now that I have the uh, the file created. Uh, I'm going to go to the layers panel. Uh, you can just hit window layers if you don't see it. And uh, I just want to create a black background. So I'm going to go here to the fill in the stroke. I'm going to take away that white fill and then swap the black stroke for a fill. Then I'm going to go to the rectangle tool. And I'm just going to pull a loose rectangle over my artboard just like that. And then back in the layers panel gonna lock it and create a new layer called art. Uh, perfect, this is what I want to be working with so now I'm gonna go to the type tool. I'm just gonna click and type cool guy. It's uh, obviously small and dark so I can't see it. It's gonna hit command A to highlight it, turn that white, and then I'm gonna hit the selection tool so I can see my transform controls. Then I'm gonna hold shift and drag out these corners until I just get a size that I like and yeah then I'm just gonna center it with the align panel hit horizontal and vertical centers make sure you're aligned to artboard so those work okay great um, the effect would work with a, a thinner just regular font like this but uh, I do want to pick just a bolder font just to showcase the effect more so I'm gonna try to pick a font everyone has Arial black just a, a nice bold font. I'm just gonna hold shift and bring that in. And uh, yeah, the tracking's a little bit loose, so I'm just gonna go to the character panel, go here to the tracking settings, and I'm just gonna bring it in, uh, just kinda like that. That looks pretty good, except for the G and the U here, so I'm gonna edit that manually. Um, using the type tool, just click in between until you see your cursors where you could type other letters and just hold option and just hit the arrow keys left or right and that will um, just kind of manually nudge uh, the letters until you just get something that you like. I think that looks cool. So yeah, that's uh, kind of the letter style that I want to work with. Just going to copy and drag one down because we're about to destroy this text. So with it highlighted, go to type and go to create outlines and you're gonna see that outline your text into anchor points. Okay, so this is where we wanna create our, uh, our Chrome effect. And the way we're gonna do that is with a gradient that we create ourselves. So just go to gradient and with the fill highlighted, click the gradient to activate it. And uh, the gradient applied, but it applied kind of uh, vertically. We want more of a horizontal gradient. So just uh, hit 90 in the uh, angle and perfect that's more of what we're looking for and uh, yeah with uh, your letters highlighted again we're gonna manipulate this to a chrome effect so kind of the way we want to do this is I'm gonna drag this black to about 50 you can even type in 50 for the location just to force it to where you want and now I am gonna hold option and drag over this white and butt it right against that black that we just drug over. And now I'm gonna grab the black, hold option, and drag it just to the end of our gradient slider. And that's what we're looking for. Uh, kind of the general philosophy with a chrome effect is you go light to dark, and then butt another light to dark right against it. So you have a harsh transfer from white to black in the middle, and then the rest is kind of a gradual fade. So it goes, uh, again, black to white, harsh black transfer, and then black to white again. And uh, yeah, uh, we can do some things to uh, kind of bring this out a little bit more. Um, we're going to do something simple like add uh, the same gradient as your stroke. So just uh, make sure your stroke is uh, activated, and then hit the gradient. And let's bump that up. Um, let's go about seven pixels. And then click off of it. 
Um, that's kind of what we want. We're getting kind of a crosshair effect. What I think happened is going into the, make sure your stroke is still highlighted. Yeah, this is still going vertically. So let's turn that 90, just like we did uh, the fill. And actually, we, we actually want to go negative 90. So let's hit reverse gradient. Perfect. And yeah, that is the effect that I'm wanted that I am wanting. Uh, so what is happening here is we have a fill that is going dark to white, dark to white, and we have a stroke that is going white to dark, white to dark. And this creates a beveling effect of uh, light hitting it at two different angles. And uh, yeah, it creates a cool effect that you can kind of use um, across different color patterns and uh, formats to you know create a cool chrome like beveled letter effect. So let's uh, let's do that now. Um, oops, I'm gonna just hold Option, click and drag, and hold Shift to make a copy. And uh, yeah, let's just take away this fill, and let's just make a new kind of gradient pattern that looks like Chrome, just following a white to dark, white to dark format. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab this purple here, and I'm just gonna pull that into everywhere that there is a black part and the blacks I'm just gonna click and pull them off and yeah just for the hell of it I'm gonna grab this blue and I'm gonna pull those between the white and the purples and yeah that looks uh, that looks nice um, so yeah I'm just gonna take this fill and I'm gonna pull it onto my swatch panel and then I'm gonna hit the stroke and I'm gonna apply that swatch. Let's bump it up to seven pixels just like the other one. And yet yeah, still the uh, the wrong angle so let's hit 90 and hit this reverse gradient. And there you go. Um, another just cool like metallic just more of a more of an 80s feel with, with this one and yeah you can even uh, add some other uh, effects. This is all still just one object so I just copy and pasted another one. I'm just gonna go to blur, Gaussian blur, and yeah um, that looks nice. Command shift left bracket to send it to the back and yeah I have a nice glowing chrome effect now. So uh, yeah that's uh, the end of this tutorial. Um, it's a pretty basic one just to kind of show you the chrome trick and uh, yeah other ways to kind of heighten that. Um, so yeah, apply this uh, to your own poster designs or styles. Uh, yeah, definitely can make some cool uh, retro designs with this. So uh, excited to see what you come up with. Thanks for watching. Bye.